Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of 15th to 21st of August 2022. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so you may or may not resonate with this reading. If you do not resonate, please do not try to deliberately fit in. Check in your any other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Also, if you want to book a personal reading, the link is in the description below. Also, you can also follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description below. Alright, let's get started with the reading. What are the current energies for Scorpio? Scorpio, what are the current energies for Scorpio? All right, two of cups, all right. With two of wands, wow, with the devil, all right. And with ace of wands, I believe, see, there are two things that I see here. Uh, people are reciprocating well towards you. Uh, equal amount of energy is coming back towards you. The more you provide help to others, the more people are helping you out. Uh, many of you are looking for opportunities, um, looking for opportunities out of your city. Uh, and there are some coming towards your way. Uh, but with the devil here, I feel that you don't want to do such things and yet at the end of the day You want you find yourself doing such things. It's like uh, you are stuck with these energies where you don't want to do things But you have to do things because it's the need of the hour All right, what else? What else is here? Ten of Wands, you know, I feel very uh, resonating this thing, the Two of Wands with the Devil and the Ten of Wands is not a shocker. Uh, this is very heavy for you, like when you don't want to do things and yet at the end of the day you find yourself doing such things. Uh, it's very difficult for you to digest that, okay, I will do it, I don't want to do it but it's the need so I will do it. That's kind of feeling that you are, you know, uh, surrounded by these days. all right let's dive into your love life what are the current energies for the love life of scorpio what are the current energies for love life of scorpio scorpios are my favorite and because i'm also a scorpio uh, i'm a scorpio moon all right my sun sign is Libra, my moon sign is a Scorpio, and I believe more on moon side. But it somehow resonates to some different positions also. Alright, what's the current energy? The lover. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Wow. What else? With three of pentacles. Hmm. Uh, I feel there is a third party situation here. And you, when you're dealing with a Gemini, there are chances of a third party situation very obviously because uh, air sign have this tendency of, you know, lurking around a lot. All right. What else? What happened in the past? What happened in the past with Scorpio? What happened in the past with Scorpio? All right. Hierophant is here. And one more card with the world card I believe oh something major happened in the past it's like uh, something ended uh, some people came in and rescued you out of a relationship I will say uh, where you know maybe there are some things that you wanted guidance for about from the people that you know for sure uh like uh there were many things that you were unaware about and you wanted to see you know you wanted to have some guidance in your life regarding your relationship of course uh and it uh didn't work out very well for you uh it you know it ended up 
in a situation where you have to take a pause in your relationship or uh, you know things ended in your relationship but i see a brand new beginning also in your relationship maybe you both reunited or reconciled in a very uh, different way than earlier you were together all right let's find out what are the intentions of the person scorpio is dealing with what are the intentions of the person scorpio is dealing with what are the intentions of the person scorpio is dealing with what are the intentions two of sword they are very secretive and nine of wands uh, okay uh, in some ways i believe you have left them uh, or the situation did not end in their favor uh, so they are very secretive about it they are not telling anyone what happened in their relationship because they feel defeated and they don't want anyone to know about what happened in your relationship what who was wrong who was right i believe it most of the times they were wrong and that's why they are keeping it up you know they are keeping their mouth shut these days uh and they don't intend like they these are their current energies i will say not just the intentions these are the current energies they are trying themselves to be surrounded with uh like being in a very protective manner so their self image in the market does not get destroyed all right let's see what is coming in the future oh no i will see the blockage first not the future all right let's see what are the blockages in this relationship let's find out what are the blockages in this relationship I hope not a third party. All right, wheel of fortune, two cards. No, many cards are here. I won't take. Uh, what are the blockages in this relationship? What are the blockages in this relationship? All right. Oh, knight of wands with ten of swords. Uh, I believe. with the card i will say the mm, how to put it when you know when some things happen some negative things happens in your life in a relationship especially uh there is a tendency either of you or your person to you know keep that thing that happened like a year ago and keep that wound very fresh till date and not to forget what you did in the past uh keep reminding you of that's the time you were wrong and bringing that past uh, you know incident again and again in front of you uh that's the blockage i believe and that's become a very uh heavy part of this relationship where uh, you know you could not bear with that or the person could not bear with those things and it's very heavy like it's a major part of this relationship not working out properly all right let's find out what is coming in the future for this relationship all right 3 of wands is here 3 of wands is here what else is coming in the future of this relationship what else is coming in the future of this relationship all right oh i believe there is going to be some waiting uh this reunion will take some time and it is going to give you some major headaches some sleepless nights some tensions some some depression some anxiety issues are definitely going to be there because this is the card of waiting and this is the time of uh, uh, you know impatient that's why you know you're very sleepless you're very restless these days you're going to be restless in the future All right, let's find out what are the messages from the universe for you. Let's find out what are the messages from the universe for you. alchemy the edge of evolution feels messy all right uh with this i will say you know 
you should be a very kind of person to the universe to everyone else whom you meet you should not be a person who is very bitchy uh, that's i believe will help you for the longer run and the people you meet you should be nicer to them uh you know and in the edge of evolution feels messy i believe your soul is trying to evolve these days and you are kind of stopping that so universe is saying that you should stop uh this behavior of yours where you do deny the you know growth and progress of your soul uh you should surrender to whatever is coming your way and let yourself grow let your soul heal and grow at the same time that's what the universe is telling you and uh, yeah i believe with create alchemy as i you know always say uh, you know you should call up to your passion uh, like whatever you like to do you should go forward and do it and not wait for tomorrow to start doing those things all right that's it for the reading thank you